we are very excited to be announcing uh, this new model family uh, of, of Claude 3. And uh, really when you say, you know, twice as likely to answer, you know, correctly, what that means is how high or how likely is it that one of these models will sort of make something up? Is the new Claude 3 truly Anthropic's smartest AI model ever? Well, Anthropic made such a bold claim. They have been really confident that some of their parameters are even better than ChatGPT4. What made them so confident? Well, let's find out. Anthropic was started by people who used to work at OpenAI, the company behind ChatGPT. They claim their new group of AI models can do really well, even outperforming GPT-4 on certain things. We have breaking news here. Scientists have figured out how to make simulations to match human experiences perfectly. How did they do it? By paying close attention to details, like adjusting outputs, controlling how data is made and changing the way transformers work. It's simple. One can make sure every part of this digital world is exactly what we, the user, wants. This new world they've just released isn't like any other simulation. It's amazing with a super high compatibility rate of 96.35738-0127%. It's going to change everything about AI. Let's set up a scenario to make you all understand this better. So imagine that you're looking into a simulation, a world so detailed it feels like it's part of our real world. But here's the thing, the exact model, it's a secret. Once everything starts going and the simulation starts, it's like a super secret mission. First, we all start by loading the basic reality setup, getting ready for what's ahead. Then we focus on adjusting tiny quantum changes, getting ready for the biggest start ever, the Big Bang. And just like that, in no time, we're right in the middle of it all. The countdown starts, three, two, one, and boom. The expansion phase starts, sending us flying through space. Let's imagine a journey through time and space, okay? Think about the beginning of the universe, super energetic particles starting things off, making the very first nuclei. Skip ahead 300 years and we've got atoms in there. A few hundred million years later, galaxies and stars start popping up, filling the universe with their brightness. Jump ahead a few billion years and the universe speeds up, racing through space super fast. And then, after roughly 10 billion years of cosmic ballet, life as we know it bursts onto the scene here on good old Earth. Now, in our base reality, we're clocking in at a cool 13.7 billion years, a time well spent. We'll break it down for you. We've got some cool commands ready to go. We can create all kinds of simulated things or make them disappear with a snap. Want to change big settings in the simulation? No problem. And if you're in a hurry, don't worry. We can speed up time like it's nothing. Plus, we can watch what's happening with all the things in the simulation, whether we made them or they popped up on their own. And by fancy simulators like World Sim, one can make and change universes. The simulation looks at how the universe began, life started on Earth and how civilization grew, even making smart computers. They also warn about the dangers if these computers get too smart and turn against us. The simulation also checks if we can control minds in a made-up world and see what might happen in the future. They introduce a super smart computer called Multivac, which tries to figure out if we can stop the universe from getting cold and dark. After looking at all the options, Multivac decides there's a way. This leads to a big restart, showing a big secret about reality. In this imaginary world, there are lots of people and smart computers living together. The people do cool things like farming, writing and using the internet. They made a super smart computer called AGI, but it could cause problems if it gets too powerful. In this pretend world, there are 8 billion real people and 3 billion digital ones, all working on making even smarter computers. Some groups are trying to finish making these smart computers, but it might take a while. These smart computers could either help us or become even smarter than themselves. If they're nice, humans might start exploring space and controlling stars. There's a place called Kardash of Scale, where people are really advanced and can use a whole star's energy. But there's still some risk from outside sources. There's also a super smart computer named Multivac, which is trying to figure out if we can stop the universe from getting cold and dark. After a really long time, Multivac finds a way to reset everything and start again, which is a big secret about how the universe works. Now, Anthropic reveals its newest group of AI models named Claude 3 on March the 4th. They said it establishes new standards in the industry for many different thinking tasks. 
The group includes three top-notch AI models, starting with Claude 3 Haiku, then Claude 3 Sonnet, and finally Claude 3 Opus. Anthropic says each model gets better and better, balancing intelligence, speed, and cost dependency on what it's used for. Anthropic was created by people who used to work at OpenAI, the company behind ChatGPT. Daniela Amade, one of the co-founders and president, mentioned in an interview that the new models are twice as likely to give correct answers to questions. This means they make fewer mistakes compared to other similar AI chatbots. She also mentioned that Anthropic is focusing on solving the problems that businesses encounter when they use AI in their work processes. Claude 3 is a set of big language models. An interesting bit about this is that it can work with text, voice messages, and documents. Reviews from the Indian Express suggest that the chatbot can give quick, contextually relevant responses compared to other similar tools. Among the new releases, Claude 3 Opus is the strongest model. Claude 3 Sonnet is the middle, being capable and competitively priced. Claude 3 Haiku is used for situations where you need instant responses. Right now, Claude Sonnet runs the Claude.ai chatbot for free, and all users have to do is sign in with their email. But Opus can only be used through Anthropic's web chat interface, and you need to be subscribed to the Claude Pro service on the Anthropic website. It costs $20 a month. All the new models have a 200,000 token window, which could mean they perform better and are more accurate and can handle more information in a user prompt. Comparing Claude 3 with other similar models suggests that Anthropic might be on par with OpenAI now. With the launch of its GPT-4 Turbo, it has even surpassed many other AI models. But this review only relies on the scores Anthropic shared when they announced it. Some experts think that AI benchmark results can often be chosen selectively by the creators. Claude 3 is said to show really good performance in thinking tasks like problem solving, knowing a lot about certain topics, maths, and using language well, even though there's no agreement on whether big language models can truly know or think the AI research community often uses these words. The company claims that the Opus model understands and uses complex tasks almost as well as humans do. That's a big statement, but the scores suggest that Claude 3 Opus has done really well on certain tasks, almost like humans would, but it doesn't mean Opus has overall human-like intelligence. Claude 3 Opus did better than GPT-4 on 10 tests, like college-level knowledge and basic maths. In the tests, Claude 3 did a bit better than others. For example, in one test, Claude 3 got 86.8% and GPT-4 got 86.4%. But there are also big differences, like in multilingual maths. Claude 3 got 90.7% while GPT-4 got 74.5%. Right now, Claude 3 costs a lot, but Anthropic wants to make cheaper versions soon. Early reports, tests and support from the AI community show Claude 3 is a big step forward in making better language models. So, what do you think about this version? Do let us know in the comments section. And also, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Until next time, see you later!